Hello everyone, here is Dr. Kamran Yusuf Sandhu from the Research Incubation for Sustainable Development. Our today's lecture is about how to develop theoretical and conceptual frameworks. We know that theories are formulated to explain, predict and understand phenomena and in many cases to challenge and extend existing knowledge within the limits of the critical bounding assumptions. So first of all, we will understand what is theory. According to the concept, theories are formulated or constructed for the purpose of explaining, predicting and master phenomena. For example, relationships, events or behavior. In many cases, we are constructing models of reality. Furthermore, a theory makes generalizations about observations and consist of an interrelated coherent set of ideas and models. We know that there are two approaches. One is inductive approach, another one is deductive approach. Inductive approach is used for theory generation and deductive approach is used to evaluate and modify the theory. These two concepts work like this. Here comes the definition. Theoretical framework serves as the foundation of a house and we can say that a theoretical framework provides a rationale for prediction about the relationship among variables of a research study. Formulating the theoretical framework, the theoretical framework of the study is a structure that can hold or support a theory of a research work. So you are doing a research, you must be having a theory, so it will hold or support the main concept. It presents the theory which explain why the problem under study exists. So one of the main concerns, so why there is a problem. Thus, the theoretical framework is but a theory that serve as basis for conducting research. You are unable to conduct the research until and unless you don't have a support from a theory. What's the purpose? It helps the researcher see clearly the variables of the study. So whenever you will develop a framework, you must be having latent variables and then indicators. So it will help to understand the real uh, sense, real theme, real functionality of the variables. It can provide with a general framework for data analysis. So it will help for data analysis that how to collect the data, what kind of data is required and how you can do the analysis. It is essential in preparing a research proposal using descriptive and experimental methods, whatever is workable and required. Now we will try to understand the concept with the help of example. For example, thesis examine the job satisfaction, safety and work outcomes in the garment sector. This is your statement, your research question. Here you will go through almost three theories which are job satisfaction theories and what you are looking for. So example one is Maslow's needs hierarchy theory. So Maslow hierarchy of needs explain that there are essential needs that need to be met first such as physiological needs and safety. More complex needs can be met such as belonging and esteem. So it has categorized a person's need which leads towards job satisfaction. Number two, motivator hygiene theory. Herzberg's motivator hygiene theory suggests that job satisfaction and dissatisfaction are not two opposite ends of the same continuum, but instead are two separate and at times even unrelate, unrelated concepts. You can see the flow, satisfaction and dissatisfaction. Number three is job characteristics model. The JCM model explains that job satisfaction occurs when the work environment encourages intrinsically motivating characters. Theories as an example and all these theories are related to job satisfaction aspects. Now point comes, how should the theoretical framework be formulated? So number one, should specify the theory used. So once you will develop your theoretical framework, so you must focus that what theory you have used. Number two, should mention the proponents. Number three, should cite the main points. 
Number four, exposition of the theory. Number five, you have to draw theoretical framework by means of a diagram. Ray trades his the theoretical position in the study concept. After formulating the theoretical framework, the researcher has to develop the conceptual framework of the study. So you have gone through different theories and you are at a conclusion and now you are leading towards your theoretical model. So if we will talk about conceptual model, so this is the first point. A concept is an image or symbolic representation of an abstract idea. Chin and Kramer define a concept as a complex metal formulation of experience. Number three point, while the theoretical framework is the theory on which the study is based, conceptual framework is the operationalization of the theory, that how you will get result. It should be in operation, it should be in the operationalization form. Coming back to the conceptual framework, it is the researcher's own position on the problem and gives direction to the study. Discussed, this is your own position. It may be an adaption of a model used in the previous study with modification to suit the inquiry so you can adopt and amend a model with your requirement aside from showing the direction of the study through the conceptual framework here comes the theoretical framework impact of job satisfaction on work outcomes through mediating role of safety in garment sector so this model has been rooted from the three job satisfaction theories which we have seen in our earlier slides. So it is starting from job satisfaction. This is independent variable leading towards safety, which is a mediating variable and work outcomes. It is dependent variable. The model is showing three different hypotheses. There are actually four hypotheses. We can add H4 for mediating role. After collection of data and developing this theoretical framework into operational framework, showing the indicators, we can get the result of the study. Like this, you can develop your theoretical framework. I think today's uh, lecture will help you to develop your theoretical and conceptual framework. If you have any question, you can contact me freely on my email or you can comment on comment box for any further clarification. Thank you very much.